Hi guys and girls, um, today we have the pleasure of looking at the Sling TSI. Um, I'm going to chat a little bit about systems and about the airplane itself and um, we're going to go through it and look at what it takes to get it in the sky safely to go and have those amazing flights around the country. Let's start off by looking at a typical day if I walk out to the aeroplane and I'm going to go flying. What I do typically first things, I'll start with checking the oil. We've all heard about the Rotax burping. Unlike the other slings, the oil is on this side. Very simple check. My standard practice, I'll take a, a cap out and I'll keep it in my hand so I don't put it on so I won't forget it, like I've done before. But basically, and this, this has an interesting, I say I'm not putting it down, but now I need to because I'm going to demonstrate something. If you look at the oil, it's there at the bottom of the flat. And just to put kind of all notions of confusion out, I'm going to now burp it, which means I'm going to put this back in and I'm going to, as elegantly as possible, try and turn the prop over in direction of the rotation. I'm trying to leave that open. So you know, I want you to hear the burp when it does go. What's happening here is we're causing a pressure in the, in the crankcase by slight blow by past the rings and that's pressurizing the crankcase which will, I don't know if that's picked up, but it burped. So it's pressurizing the crankcase and blowing the, the oil back into the oil reservoir. You hear the burp and now you'll see the oil level has gone up from there to there. So really not necessary every single flight. I do it first flight of the day to make sure. Of course if your oil level is already in the flat of the dipstick I wouldn't burp because it's only going to go up. Always if the aeroplane stood a while I'll give it a little burp just to get everything loosened up but not entirely necessary. The reason I do that first is if I need to do oil or add oil which is very seldom with a Rotax I could do that, get that all out of the way, and then concentrate on the rest of the pre-flight. There's also this handy little addition on the TSI, which is another flap here, which inside here we check the coolant. I won't open this up now because it's warm. And there's a little window on the side, you can also see the level there. So that's a nice addition on the TSI. On this side, again, not much to look at in here, but because we're on the ground, it's always best to check systems in the ground wishing we in the sky rather being in the sky wishing we in the ground. You've got a fuel filter, you've got your intercooler. Just have a look at everything here, look for any leaks, anything. Again, it's a sling, very seldom you have any problems if you've done a good installation of the engine. Factory does a great installation. Once we've done that, internals are done. Then I'll come around to the front. I just start off with the wheel pants, all the hardware's in, it's not loose. I'll give this a little pull down on the suspension, make sure suspension isn't gummed up or jamming. The coolers, nice big radiator, nice big oil cooler that they both firm. Someone hasn't forgotten to put the clips on the inside, especially after a, a maintenance. So that's all good, all clear. Then the beautiful propeller that puts all our horsepower in and gives us some traction into the sky to get that 155 knots. Um, I take the blades as it's suggested in the uh, Airmaster manual and I would feel for any play. So I'll put my hand in there, feel on the bearing and make sure there's no play backwards and forward, no play on the blade. It's a very quick check that once you know your aeroplane you can do. And that's just checking to see there's no thrust bearing, which I've never had a problem in the thousands of hours we've flown these, but it's always good to check. And um, that the thrust bearing isn't getting play and also that after servicing they haven't left a ring or something that turns it down that's loose. And then I just give the, the spinner a little tonk in case that's getting any play. If that's all good, condition of the blades, leading edges and all good.